Hello, everyone. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay. Uh -uh -uh. Okay, give me a second. I'm pulling up the attendance list. Okay. Okay. I'm ready. So here. Okay. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Give me a minute, please. I have a meeting in my work. Okay. Who said that? I'm sorry, I wasn't looking the screen here. Rebecca. Okay, Rebecca. Yeah. I, I'm. I'm turning off the camera. A few seconds. Okay. Got it. All right. Let's get started, people. I will take the attendance. So please just respond when you hear your name. Okay. Carlos Alberto Martinez Alvarado. Carlos Alberto Martinez. I see you're here, but you're done. You're not responding. So I need to hear you. Claudia Maria Garcia Rodriguez. Present teacher. Welcome. David Alonso Mejia Flores. Present. Okay, welcome. Esaú Ismael Tobar. Esaú Ismael. Okay. Evelyn Janet Marroquín Ramos. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Teacher present. No, no había podido conectar el audio. Okay, Carlos. Thank you. Okay. Francisco Alexander Villafuerte Flores. Francisco, Glendy L. Flores Ramirez. Present. Okay, welcome. Isabo Elizabeth Torres Amaya. Present, teacher. Okay, welcome. Isaura Evelia Vázquez de Ponce. Present, teacher. Okay, welcome. Hey, people, there are too many cameras off. Turn them on. Jacqueline Rebecca Cermeño Lopez. 
present teacher. Okay, welcome. Luis Fernando Linares Sierra. Present. Okay, remember, uh, Luis, you need to write your full name. Oh, sorry. Okay, Marco Antonio Quijano Eguizabal. Present. Welcome. Natalie Rebecca Peña Valiente. Natalie. Nubia Cristina Morales Benavides. Turn on your cameras, people. Odir Omar Soriano Leiva. Present. Okay, Odir, remember to write your full name, please. Raul Antonio Pérez Escobar. Present, teacher. Okay, welcome. Rebecca okay. Jonel Hernández Castellano. Okay. Renato Salvador Ramírez González. Present teacher. Welcome. René Giovanni Martínez Aguilar. I'm here, teacher. Cameras, people, cameras. Okay. Ruth Marielo Samaya Guardado. Here, teacher. Okay, cameras. Raúl Alexander Lozano Calderón. Present. Okay, welcome. Silvia Tatiana Acosta Hernández. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Okay, a quick review. Esaú Ismael Tobar. Francisco Alexander Villafuerte. Present teacher. Present. Where are you? Where are you? Cameras. Natalie Rebeca Peña. Odir Omar Soriano. No, I'm sorry, you, you. Anubia Cristina Morales. Not yet. Okay. I'm sorry, I need to insist. You need to turn on your cameras. Okay, that is a requirement and you know that. So, you, you better turn them on. Okay. Mm. Let's see, let me show you something we have here in On the website, let me prepare. Okay. Let's watch this video about the topic we are going to study today. Let me share the screen. And the sound. Here. Okay, today we're going to study the passive with by. The passive actually in simple past with by. Okay, watch this video. Let me see. Well, B plus past participle. Active. The president opened the building in 19... The building. Passive. It was designed by an American architect. I have this scrabble sentence for you. My sister, this book, 
in 2010 wrote, can you try to unscramble the sentence and make sense of it? I will give you 15 seconds. Great. So we came up with, my sister wrote this book in 2010. Now in English, we can say the same things in another way. Let's work with another scramble sentence and let's do the same and scramble it and make sense of it. This time I will give you 20 seconds. My sister, this book, by in 2010, written was. Were you able to do it? I hope you did. This book was written by my sister in 2010. Now let's take a look at each sentence. In this first sentence, which by the way is in active voice, the emphasis is on my sister. It was not Susanna who wrote the book, it was my sister. This book was written by my sister this book is the object, was, was or were, written is the past participle of the verb, by, by, my sister is the subject. In this second sentence, we're using passive voice and the emphasis is on this book. The most important fact is that the book was written. Now let's write examples for the uses previously mentioned in our intro video. Remember? We don't know who did the action. My house was broken into on Friday. Who broke into our house? We don't know. Number two, there is no doer of the action. He was killed in an earthquake. There is no doer of this action. The last use, the fact is more important than the doer of the action. My dog was run over by a car. What happened to my dog is more important than the doer. Finally, let's go over the structure of the passive and simple past. Because we're using passive in simple past, this is what we'll use. Was, were, plus past participle. Before we go, we want you to work on the following sentences so you're able to practice. Our sentences are in active voice. Your work is to switch them to passive voice. Please write them on our discussion box. Number one. Mom prepared the food. Number two, all the employees read the memo. Number three, the boy ate the cake. Okay. Let's mention one more time, but um But before we go deep into the topic, let me tell you what passive voice does to a sentence. Passive voice changes the emphasis on a sentence. In other words, we may say the same thing in a different way. You may be wondering when to use it. Passive voice is the best way to express an idea when, number one, we don't know who did the action, number two, there's no doer of an action, and number three, the fact is more important than the doer of an action. As always, I will ask you to stay around and stay for the explanation. We will compare active with passive, so you see the difference and notice the emphasis on each one. We will give you examples of each use, as well as the structure of passive voice. Passive with by, simple past. The passive changes the focus of a sentence. For the simple past, Use the past of be plus past participle. Active. The president opened the building in 1931. Passive. 
It was opened by the president in 1931. Active. An American architect designed the building. Passive. It was designed by an American architect. I have this scrabble sentence for you. My sister, this book, in 2010, wrote. Can you try to unscramble the sentence and make sense of it? I will give you 15 seconds. Great. So we came up with my sister wrote this book in 2010. Now in English, we can say the same things in another way. Let's work with another scramble sentence and let's do the same and scramble it and make sense of it. This time I will give you 20 seconds. My sister, this book, by in 2010, written was. Were you able to do it? I hope you did. This book was written by my sister in 2010. Now let's take a look at each sentence. In this first sentence, which by the way is in active voice, the emphasis is on my sister. It was not Susanna who wrote the book, it was my sister. This book was written by my sister this book is the object, was, was or were, written is the past participle of the verb, by, by, my sister is the subject. In this second sentence, we're using passive voice and the emphasis is on this book. The most important fact is that the book was written. Now let's write examples for the uses previously mentioned in our intro video. Remember? We don't know who did the action. My house was broken into on Friday. Who broke into our house? We don't know. Number two, there is no doer of the action. He was killed in an earthquake. There is no doer of this action. The last use, the fact is more important than the doer of the action. My dog was run over by a car. What happened to my dog is more important than the doer. Finally, let's go over the structure of the passive and simple past. Because we're using passive in simple past, this is what we'll use. Was, were, plus past participle. Before we go, we want you to work on the following sentences so you're able to practice. Our sentences are in active voice. Your work is to switch them to passive voice. Please write them on our discussion box. Number one, mom prepared the food. Number two, all the employees read the memo. Number three, the boy ate the cake. Okay. Well, this is passive voice. Okay, yeah, so we use the passive voice. Well, it's difficult. Is to go back and study thing. Okay, let me. Okay. Okay. The passive with by is uh, what we use when we want to focus the sentence um not in the performer or the doer of the action but on the action itself okay 
For example, the active voice is focused on the doer or the subject of the action. For example, Bartholdi designed the Statue of Liberty. So the focus is on Bartholdi. The French gave the statue to U.S. to the U.S. in 1886. We focus on the doer. But in passive voice, uh, the focus the, or the emphasis is not on the doer of the action, but in the object or in the action itself. The Statue of Liberty was designed by Bartholdi. When the performer of the action is important to be mentioned, we use the by phrase by Bartholdi. Sometimes when the person or the performer of the action is not important, we don't mention it. But when it is important, we use a by phrase. The statue was given to the U.S. by the French in 1886. So it's another way to say the same thing. All right? M, because this is, we are talking about past events. We are going to use the past form of B and the past participle form of the verb. The past form of B and the past participle form. Okay. That is the passive vote. Now. Let's work on this exercise. Look at this. We have some um, works of art and uh, you have to match the two, the two phrases. Okay, from column A with the phrases on column B. Yeah, column A with the phrases on column B. We have the Mona Lisa, the opera Labo M, the novel To Kill a Mockingbird, the film E.T., and the album Thriller. So tell me, can you use this it is working okay the mona lisa what is the <clears throat> the second part of this sentence was painted by leonardo da vinci Ah, okay. The Mona Lisa was painted by Leonardo da Vinci. Yes. The opera La Boheme. What, what do you think? Was, was written? Was composed by Giacomo Puccini. Yes. Was composed by... Giacomo Puccini. Okay. The novel To Kill a Mockingbird. What about that? Was written by Harper Lee. Yes, you have the information here, right? Was written by Harper Lee. Okay. Then the film E.T. The film E.T. was directed by Steven Spielberg. Mm -hmm. Was directed by Steven Spielberg. Steven Spielberg. And finally, uh, let's say, let me get another color. Okay. The album thriller was recorded by Michael Jackson. Yes. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. Good. So the Mona Lisa was painted by Leonardo da Vinci. The opera La Boheme was composed by Giacomo Puccini. The novel To Kill a Mockingbird was written by Harper Lee. The film E.T., The Extraterrestrial, was directed by Steven Spielberg. The album Thriller was recorded by Michael Jack. Very good. Very good. Now, let's see here. Now, these sentences are in active voice. Yeah, these sentences are in active voice. You have to change them to passive voice, okay? So, I will give you time to do it. And we're going to check later. I'll give you five minutes to work on it, okay? Do it in your notebooks. Change these sentences into passive sentences with by.
Okay, people, let's see. Thomas Edison invented the phonograph in 1877. Uh, let's do this. Please write the passive voice, the passive sentence in the chat. I want to see your answers in the chat, please. Number one, write the Sentence number one in the chat, please. Everybody, come on. Writing in the chat now. Thomas Edison invented the phonograph. Okay. Okay. Come on, people. Everyone, please. Practice, practice your writing. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Okay, usually the time expressions go at the end. Okay, very good. Now, number two, Marie Curie discovered radium in 1898. Number two, please. Number two, yeah. We're on number two now. Radium, uh huh. Was discovered, uh huh. Okay. Okay. Number three, Gabriel Garcia Marquez wrote 100 Years of Solitude in 1971. Mm-hmm. Okay. Very good, David. Okay, don't omit information. Very good. 100 Years of Solitude was written by Gabriel Garcia Marquez in 1971. Was written. Remember that we use the passive voice, the past form of B and the past participle. 100 years of solitude was written. Okay, four, Tim Berners-Lee developed the World Wide Web in 1989. Okay, very good. The World Wide Web was developed by Tim Berners-Lee. His name is Tim Berners-Lee.
Okay, next one. Wupei produced the first digital HD TV in 1991. High definition television. Okay. The first high definition television was produced by Wu Peik in 1991. Yeah, remember that the time expressions are better at the end. At the end of the sentence. Okay, very good. Any question, people, with this? Okay. Let me see. Hmm. Okay, let me see here. This is not there. The audio for this. Okay, that is the passive voice. Now, let's continue with this pronunciation exercise. Uh, okay, this one. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read the sentences and we'll record the audio here in WhatsApp so you can practice it later, okay? See, intermediate three, this is one. Pronunciation, final consonant sounds are often linked to the vowel sounds that follow them. Examples. The Colosseum in Rome was opened in 8080. The Colosseum in Rome was opened in 80 AD. The light bulb was invented by Thomas Edison. The light bulb was invented by Thomas Edison. Okay, so if you notice, there is a, uh, these sounds here are linked together, the M with the I. 
Colosseum in Colosseum in Rome was so was opened was opened in what's opened in so that is this exercise about the final consonant sounds are often linked to the vowel sounds that follow them. the light bulb was invented by thomas edison thomas edison see thomas edison okay Um, let's see here, there are some, I will mark them and I want you to practice reading these sentences. Was an, here also another one, important, here is another sound, and here is another. So you have to try to link or connect the consonant with the vowel. Um, here is another one. Here is another one. Uh, here is another one. Here is another one. Okay. For example, let me read them. The Eiffel Tower was an in, you see, was an important advance. Was an important advance. In, in, in engineering. In engineering. The Eiffel Tower was an important advance. Important advance in engineering. The Taj Mahal is a tomb. The Taj Mahal is a is a Taj Mahal is a tomb for the wife of an Indian of an Indian prince. You notice the combination of sounds, the consonant sounds with the vowel sound. Okay? So you can practice that by yourselves. Okay? Uh, any question with these people? No? No, 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 teacher, everything is clear. Okay. It's um, AD, teacher. AD and then AD, 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 A point, D point, I don't know. Where, where? He, he refers to the end of the first AD. Yeah, AD, AD. Because oh. AD. 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 Annio Domini. This is Latin. Annio Domini. So it's another way to say uh, after Christ. After. Yeah. So we have BC before Christ and Annio Domini. Okay. Hmm? okay. Thank you. Uh, any other question, people? No. Okay. Um listening. Well, we don't have this. Now, yeah, we have a few minutes to work on this exercise. 
to classify this vocabulary. This vocabulary will have currencies, religious groups, industries, and agricultural products. Okay? So you have to classify these words in this chart. All right? I'll give you a few minutes to do it. And we'll check before ending the class. The main picture is burden. The picture is in the WhatsApp group. Yeah, I already sent the exercise to us.
Okay, people, let's see. Mm. The first one is beef. What is beef? Currency, religious group, industry, or agricultural product? Agricultural product. Agricultural product. Okay. Let me use red. Buddhist. Buddhist. What is Religion With. Okay. Buddhist. Mining. Industrial. Mining in industries. Okay. Yes. Mining. Peso. Currencies. Currency. <coughs> Christians. Religious, Religious group. group. Muslims. Religious group. Religious group. Religious group. Dollar. Currency. Electronics. Industry. 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 Tourism. Industry. 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 Cheese. Agricultural product. Pound. Agricultural product. Pound is a currency here. Currency is correct. Yes, currency. Yeah. The pound from England. Yes, from England. And wheat. Agricultural, agricultural product. Yeah. Okay. So, currencies, peso, dollar, pound. Religious groups, Buddhist, Christian, Muslims. Industries, mining, electronics, tourism. Agricultural products, beef, cheese, wheat. Okay. Teacher, what's the meaning mining? Mining is the industry to get gold or minerals. The industry to get minerals. Yeah, like gold, iron, jewels, like. Well, Bitcoin, yeah, but no, no that is not this kind of industry. Yeah. Project. Mining in area. Yes, that is mining exactly. Okay. Um. By the way, do you know the online dictionary word reference? Do you know that dictionary? Google hmm? In Google. No, that is the translator. You shouldn't use Google Translator. You should use a dictionary. Okay, let me in two minutes let me show you this dictionary. Okay.
is this one wordreference.com can you see this this is a dictionary an online dictionary so you have different languages here you see spanish french italian portuguese so different dictionary different languages we're interested in the dictionary sorry you can share, share the, the link in, in the micro please you can please let me in the chat here. Oh, Can you that, see it now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. For example, mining. What is mining? Well, you see, you have the pronunciation here and different accents. UK and um, different accents for the pronunciation. That's nice. Can you share the, the URL R in the WhatsApp group? Mining. You Mining. Can listen to the pronunciation. Mining. Yeah, and you have different meanings. Additional translations. Yeah. Uh, so, sorry, teacher. Mm-hmm. Uh, could you please uh, share the the URL in the WhatsApp group, please? Sure, but it is wordreference.com. But I will share it. No problem. Thank you. Okay. We'll use it. Use it because teachers, <laughs> we are not dictionaries. We won't be with you all the time. No, I like it. I like this one because it has the pronunciation also. There you are. Okay. Okay, people, that's all for today. We'll continue tomorrow, tomorrow. All right. Have a good night and see you tomorrow, people. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye, everyone. Good night. Take care. See you. Good night. Bye. See you.